people often seem to struggle with their identity. That includes you. You yourself probably struggle with that. Who am I to say? I don't know you. But I hope you know yourself. Most people don't. So... I'm going to try and give you my two cents, I guess, on uh, identity and being yourself. As you can probably tell, I have come to terms with who I am. And uh, I love who I am. I've accepted it. A lot of people have no idea who they are. They try to be like others. They try to be others. And I'm not one to judge, you know. If you want to model yourself after someone you admire, then that's great. Go ahead. But then there's a question that is posed, which is, who are you really? How do you know you aren't just that person you modeled yourself after? Where do you start and where do others end? This thing is so, so insulating. Hold on. A lot of people struggle with that. And uh, it's a tricky situation. I feel like I definitely used to. I mean, I still do to some degree. Like personally, uh, at school and uh, in other places, mostly school, I uh, have cr built a sort of persona for myself. And uh, I've grown out of that, but I feel like others would be put off if I suddenly were myself. And I mean, that persona I built is part of myself, but it's not my true self. If they suddenly saw me like this, they'd be very put off, very confused. They'd think I had some sort of mental break. And, uh... They may be right. You can never tell. I'll say this. Why hide who you really are when you can just be who you really are? You may say, oh, judgment, you know? People, uh, they don't take kindly to things they aren't familiar with, the, th the things that are strange, you know, unnatural. And uh, who cares? If they don't like you, then they don't like you. Those aren't the people you want to be around, clearly. You 
you know, life is uh, too short to not be yourself. So be yourself, you know, if you feel like you want to go out into the middle of the woods and start painting on an easel, then go ahead and uh, do that. If you feel like you want to get on all fours and just run down the street, go ahead and do that. I can tell you I get that urge often. Almost concerning. Um, if you want to say something controversial, you know, give, uh, give, give your thoughts out to uh, the world. Then go ahead, you know, there'll, there'll always be people who don't like you. A lot of people don't like themselves, which is kind of the uh, whole crux of this thing. worried about criticism you're worried about you know people not accepting you why would you care about those things if they don't accept you then that's just a call to action to be more yourself and find people who do accept you you know stop looking for approval from all those simpletons. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a little basic, you know. It's a, it's an easy way to live. But, uh, that's yeah, a little bit of a sidetrack. I, uh, I do that. Don't, uh, try, it's like putting the cone piece into I don't know, some random coin slot. It's not even in the same uh, puzzle, you know? Heck, the coin slot isn't even a puzzle. Guess what I'm trying to say is be with people who are like you, and that can be very hard to, uh, to do because you don't know how to find said people. You don't even know if said people exist. And that is kind of the issue, you know? You want to be with the people who are around you because they clearly exist. These people you're thinking of, you who you want to associate with, may not even exist. You know, you have no idea. So uh, you just gotta keep searching. Be yourself, you know, if people think, oh, you are not funny, oh, you're annoying, it's fine. Be around people who want to be around you. It doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter who you are. If it works, it works. Opposites attract, you know, everyone knows that. But also, in reality, uh, you know, things that are the same are attracted to each other. It goes both ways. Just go ahead and uh, be yourself, be who you want to be do what you want to do, as long as it's not hurting anyone. You know, don't go all Patrick Bateman over here. No need to throw chainsaws at random women. You could like make, you could make animations of that. You could make like a video game where you do that. That would be fun. You know, to each their own. If you want to breed crocodiles, yeah, 
Yeah, why not? If, if you want to grow poison ivy, go ahead. I'll just say, stop conforming to society's expectations. Stop conforming to what people want. Be who you want to be, you know, it's not hurting anyone. And, you know, as long as you have yourself, there's no such thing as being alone. And H.P. Uh, Lovecraft once said, The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. The sciences, each straining in its own direction, have hitherto harmed us little, but someday the piercing together of dissociated knowledge will open up such terrifying vistas of reality and of our frightful position therein that we shall either go mad from the revelation or flee from the deadly light into the peace and safety of a new dark age. That is from The Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft. And uh, I'll say I wasn't really paying attention to that. But I think what it was saying is we don't understand everything. And that's true. That's completely true. We live somewhere. We don't know. We'll never know. So, uh, why care? Life isn't even real. You know, just go ahead and be who you want to be. Create your own destiny. If that's too complicated and too existential for you, then go ahead and, you know, be all cookie cutter and whatnot. I, you know, that's, that's, that's fine. It's an easy, uh, honest way of living. But uh, is it really living? Is anything really living? What is living? You know, I'm wearing Crocs with the lobster socks. Is that living? I'd say yes. Is vanilla snack pack living? To that, I also would say yes. But is spending your whole being in fear of inacceptance, is that living? Eh. I guess it's technically a way of being, but it's not living. So stop doing whatever it is that makes you afraid unless it's good for you. Like watch horror movies. That's great. Do some like exposure therapy. You know, if you're afraid of moths or whatever. Go ahead and, uh, you know, look at some pictures of moths. Go ahead and uh, be around some moths. You know, maybe, uh, maybe hold one once you get there. It doesn't work for everybody. But uh, whatever, you know, uh, be yourself. That's uh, pretty much all I wanted to say. It was basically just a lot of nonsense. It was a lot of brain fog up here in the uh, brain dome. Uh, yeah. I guess... Uh,
complicate things. Just be.